The surface of your daylight screen has been developed to optimize your viewing experience. It is critical to avoid damaging this surface in order to keep the screen's original fidelity. Improper cleaning can leave marks in the surface that will detract from your viewing experience. This cleaning procedure has been developed to minimize the chances of damaging the screen surface when it is cleaned. First, use compressed air to loosen and remove dirt specks. Use gentle touches with masking tape to lift small marks of around 3 quarters of an inch or 2 centimeters in size. Larger areas can be cleaned using a cleaning solution and a soft clean rag. Daylight recommends a solution made of distilled water with a small amount of dishwashing detergent. Fold the rag to make a pad that covers your hand. Be sure to have no wrinkles on the surface of the pad. Moisten the surface of the pad with the cleaning solution. Gently wipe the screen side to side with the moistened pad, applying slight pressure with the whole surface of the pad. Using a circular motion when cleaning can damage the screen, so it is important to always use a side to side motion. The total force used against the pad should be about one pound, approximately the weight of a 16 ounce drink. When the dirt has been removed, turn cloth over to a dry section and continue wiping until the area is dry. Do not proceed to further cleaning methods if you are using a high power, high contrast high power, silver light 2.5, or silver matte surface from daylight. Persistent marks and spots can sometimes be removed using Clorox Greenworks or Formula 409 in place of the distilled water. As a last resort, isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol can be used as a cleaner. This is readily available in drugstores. Be sure to wear gloves and safety goggles when handling chemicals. If marks, spots, or stains resist applying these cleaning methods, please contact your sales representative or Daylight Customer Care with the following information. The type and size of stain, the surface type or name, the total surface size, the approximate date of purchase.